Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Is there anything more scandalous in the sporting world than a superstar getting caught cheating? Some of the biggest names in the sporting world have been brought to their knees by proven accusations of cheating. From doping to ball tampering, here's a list of 10 sports stars who cheated. Number 10. Frederick Lors. You probably haven't heard of Fred Lors, because his story dates back several decades ago. His story broke out at the 1904 Olympics in St. Louis, and it was an unforgettable one. Lawrence was a participant in the marathon and managed to emerge first in the competition. He received gold and even took a photo with Alice Roosevelt. What the world didn't know is that Loris didn't run a fair race. He managed to run the first few miles, but he settled for an alternative when he got tired. In fact, he didn't run all 11 miles of the race, because he was in a car while others were on foot. There was no way he wouldn't have won in such a competition. Word soon spread around after the race that the young man had cheated. The spectators swore that they saw him waving at them from the car. He was immediately disqualified and Thomas Hicks, who died at the finish line, was awarded the winner. Before moving to the next number, we just want a small favor from you. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and get one week good luck for you. Try this, it really works. Number 9. Tom Brady NFL. Tom Brady's fans span across the globe as he's revered as an idol. However, there was a controversy around the 2014-15 AFC Championship game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts. The Patriots went ahead to win 45-7. The problem with the win came from the balls used. It's said that Brady had demanded that the ball be slightly deflated to gain an edge over his competitors. Deflated balls are easier to catch during rainy and windy conditions. After all the evidence was presented before the authorities, he was fined $1 million and banned for four games. Although he's still considered a superstar by his fans, the issue has left a scar on his career. To this day he and his team haven't admitted to any wrongdoing leading us to the debate as to whether he did it. While he served a suspension, he appealed the punishment, hoping he'd get justice. Number 8. Sylvester Carmouche Horse Racing. Another typical example of cheating in broad daylight, and this is Sylvester Kermish's story. He wasn't so clever with it that he was caught almost immediately after the idea came to his mind. The incident occurred at the Delta Downs racetrack in Louisiana on a foggy day. Side of these two are away the best. They're followed by Ride and Shotgun, Deep Run, Dune to the outside, and Lexington Ray as they make their way in to the clubhouse turn. He would romp to victory by 24 lengths but there was something fishy about this move. Many of the writers said they had never seen him pass them during the race. The question was, where did he pass? This fan was lucky to be hidden by the fog, and he would seize the opportunity to stop near the start, only to rejoin the race when he heard footsteps. This was clever of him, but it didn't go without serving a 10-year ban. Of course, there was nothing hidden under the sun. It was only a matter of time before he's tidied up, Number 7. Diego Maradona Soccer. Even if you're not a soccer fan, you've probably heard of the famous gold dubbed the Hand of God. Luckily, the perpetrator went unpunished even though there was proof. Video evidence after the match proved that Diego Maradona broke the rules in a 1986 World Cup quarter-final against England, but slipped through the unsteady hands of justice. Despite the controversy, he scored one of the finest goals in the history of the World Cup. Never has a goal been this controversial after 1986. A little man who started it by walking past Glenn Hoddle. That's where the ball came from Hodge. Maradona had continued the run forward. During the match, he was challenged for a header near the goal, but instead of using his legs, he directed the ball to the net using his hand. The referee failed to spot this anomaly, and there was no VAR at the time to spot the mistake. After the match, Maradona said it was the hand of God. As expected England's supporters didn't buy the excuse and wanted justice for their loss. But then the referers dictated the tune in situations like this. 
Despite all of that, Maradona is one of the most respected football players. Here died on November 25, 2020. It was your hand or the hand of God? Cheers, <laughs> for me, man. <laughs> Number six, Lance Armstrong cycling. It is impossible to have a list of professional cheaters without mentioning Lance Armstrong. He was widely acclaimed as the best cyclist ever, overcoming cancer, to win an unprecedented seven Tour de France titles. His wins were so suspicious that he was accused of doping. The sportsman denied the allegation whenever he heard it and insisted he achieved all of his victories through hard work. He was America's hero, but little did everyone expect of his fall. 2012 saw the end of this world-class athlete, as the USADA concluded that he used performance-enhancing drugs throughout his career. His former teammates also testified that he had something to do with some banned substances. The repercussion of this exposure was that he was stripped of all seven Tour de France wins and received a lifetime ban from the sport. He later confessed to Oprah Winfrey's show that he regrets all his actions. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Number 5. Ben Johnson Athletics. Canada's Ben Johnson is one of the most famous cheaters in history. He cheated to win the Olympics 109 meters title. How did he pull that off? On September 24, 1988, Canadian sprinter Ben Johnson ran the 100-meter dash in 9.79 seconds to win gold at the Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. And it's a fair start. And it is Raymond Durr with a start. It is Ben Johnson with a start. And Durr gets it. No! It's Ben... It didn't take long before his victory came under public scrutiny, as it was investigated for some irregularities. It was revealed that some of his samples contained stanozolol, a banned anabolic steroid. He was banned for two years and his title was handed over to Carl Lewis, the closest to the winner. Even though he returned after the ban was lifted he received another one for life after testing positive again. Number 4. Boris Anishchenko Fencing. Boris Anishchenko participated in the modern pentathlon at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal. All eyes were on him as he was loved by many. He left the competition with a silver medal, but not after being disgraced due to cheating in the fencing sport. What did he do? He connected the device to a pay app allowing him to press a button and add a hit to his total. And subsequently what happened is it was found that these two wires here that are insulated and have to be all the way up to the, to the plug. They, they were been tampered with and uh, apparently he had something on his finger where he could close the two weapons and this was He didn't have to make contact to get a hit. His mischief was uncovered when the British team noticed his hits weren't genuine. When the investigation proved the allegations, he was disqualified from the game. He earned the nickname D. Sanashenko from the press. He probably would have won a bronze medal if he played fairly, but he was too desperate for a title and because of him grips that could hide switches or wires were banned. He was also removed from the Olympic Village, and other members of the USSR threatened to throw him out. It didn't end there as he was stripped of all his sporting honors too. He ended up as a taxi driver in Kiev. Number 3. Hansi Kronje Cricket. Hansi Kronje was a household name in South Africa. He was the captain of the country's national team and one of the best batsmen in the sport. He enjoyed a controversy-free career until 1999, when he was indicted for fixing matches in exchange for money. After the recording was released he was banned from the sport for life. Three other players were fingered for the same crime. Despite the controversy surrounding him, he was voted South Africa's 11th most outstanding player in 2001. Driven by greed and the urge for easy money, Kronje was punished for manipulating the results. While it was easy for him to get into the illegal business putting out became impossible due to the irresistible offers on his table. His journey to match fixing began five years before he was arraigned. It started in 1995 ahead of an international against Pakistan. He was offered a whopping $10,000 to throw the match. It was from this point that he slipped further to the point of no return. He met his tragic end after he was involved in a plane crash. He was only 32.
Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 2. Tanya Harding Figure Skating. Tanya took her cheating game to a whole new level that almost led to the loss of life. It is one of the most severe issues that lead to the injury of an opponent. Tanya participated in the 1994 USA Figure Skating Championships and her primary opponent was Nancy Kerrigan. She feared her competitor would take the lead and wanted to stop her before it was too late. Kerrigan was attacked after a practice session by whacking her knee with a crowbar and this forced her to withdraw from the competition. The report has it that the attack was planned even though the assailant continues to deny it. She had planned the attack with three others, and they executed it perfectly. In fact, Kerrigan's ex-husband, Jeff Gillooly, was involved in the attack. She was sentenced to three years in jail, 500 hours of community service, and was levied a huge fine. She was also banned from USFSA events for life. Number 1. Barry Bonds Baseball. Barry Bonds was one of the biggest baseball stars, but this title didn't last long as he was involved in one of the biggest steroid scandals to hit the spot. This came after he broke the record for the most home runs scored by any player. Despite his indictment for steroids, the record still stands. Aside from him, other big ways to be involved in the crime include Sammy Sosa, who also used a drug to enhance his performance. His fans would never accept that he failed as a player as they claim he's still one of the greatest ever. Did the media react to Bond's actions out of commitments upholding the sport, or did they do it to spite him since he was widely believed that he was a braggart? He flaunted his wins and our faces to the disgust of the haters. Little did we know that he used drugs to achieve all of that. Even if you believe the crusade was an anti-Bond bias, it benefits the sporting industry in general. The media was going to do their job after all. There you have it, these 10 athletes tried to boycott the system, but were exposed, what do you make of this? Please tell us in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with our latest content.